I had the idea of bringing people from the industry all over the country. And we had about 70 people in the audience and a, a one-day conference with four panels. A few years ago, I realized I'd been to all of them. Every single one of them since 1999, including this one in 2019. It's almost like a reunion with a lot of people, and it's so important to stay in touch with all the topics that are covered at ISOJ. At ISOJ, my very first year, I began talking to people who came from Latin America, and I realized that this was the industry that I wanted to go into. Throughout the years, I have been seeing many collaborations that were born at ISOJ, many jobs that were found at ISOJ, M many projects that started in a, in a conversation during a coffee break or, or at a reception. It was really great to be able to, you know, be in a space where you're surrounded with not only great, important people in the journalism industry, but also researchers that come to learn from journalists. At first there wasn't a research component, and then it was implemented over time, and then a really groundbreaking journal became part of the conference, so that was really an important change. Bringing sort of different voices, people from different places in the world, academics, journalists together, speaking to each other, that are extremely relevant to what I do and what I'm interested in. I think it was great that they were able to pull that off and surprise him and really give him the recognition that he deserves for having this event for so many years. He is one of the wisest, most energetic, most charming, most oh loyal, God. most thoughtful people. I did not plan this. We know. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Thank you. And here's to another 20 years. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm very moved. My youngest daughter who was there said, yes, Dad, you did not cry, but your eyes were kind of sweating a little bit. <laughs> a piece of dust may, may have touched my eyes. I think you cried. <laughs> Just a little bit. Don't tell them that. <laughs> Thank you for putting a spotlight on Latin America and a lot of countries that don't don't really get a lot of airtime or attention. It's been a very, very valuable experience on so many levels. This will definitely continue to be a part of my professional journalism experience for years to come.